Hi guys, so this is the latest project that I'm up to at the moment. It's a Halo 4 helmet downloaded from Thingiverse and currently being printed on my Ender 5 Pro. Now this comes in many, many parts and uh, no instructions were found when I was looking on the actual downloaded file but I did manage to find some on uh, other YouTube videos so I'll put a link to those in this video but as you can see um, it's quite an intensive model there plenty of parts uh, and I've printed quite a few of them and I have started sticking a few of them together um, and as I say this has been quite a, uh, a complicated build uh, PLA that I've used is the Tim Mori PLA um, bought from Amazon for around about £17 for a kilogram and I've used about three quarters of a kilogram in total so far with a few more bits to build so for me it's been about a kilogram's worth of uh, PLA I've done it at standard quality because um, I figure I'm going to be doing lots of sanding lots of painting so I should pull back the, the quality there um, so there are a few lines you know, as you can see but um, I think you'd agree, there's nothing there in some hands of all that a little bit of filler and a little bit of sanding, primer and paint won't, uh, won't cover. Started some of the assembly already as you can see, um, finding that uh, it is quite a complicated build and, and it's definitely not for, for beginners. Um, I've used some Gorilla Glue, uh, Gorilla Glue even, uh, the super glue to, to hold it together and a couple of clamps and that seems to be doing the trick nicely as I say there's going to be quite a bit of, of filling involved in this and uh, a little bit of after printing work but I actually think it's going to look absolutely amazing uh, just so you get a view of what I'm aiming for if I just show you some of my collection here there you go and if we zoom in at the back there's Master Chief uh, the colour I'm going to go for is a, an olive drab colour for the main helmet with some nice gold for the reflection uh, of the visor and uh, I'll add some black some uh, highlighted silver for the scuff marks and then I'll add some LED lighting in for the uh, for the final effects so a little update on the helmet um, as you can see it's not been fully assembled yet and the parts are still printing but I have started to fill some of the join lines using uh, this here which is just some wood filler um, I've used a few brands of this one but I find that this uh, Ron seal is very good. So as you see I just splatter it on there making sure that the seams are covered as much as I can and uh, when it's dried and I'll give it a couple of, uh, well I'll probably give it a day to dry, take it out to the shed and uh, use my electric sander on it to, to get it all down. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, thanks boys, it's not going to be a perfect finish but um, it will certainly cover up some of those lines and just add a little bit of strength and reinforcement to it. Um, speaking of strength and reinforcement, if you just look on the inside, uh, there are a couple of areas in there that were quite, uh, quite weak, I felt. So I've just put a few little bits of uh, ice roll stick on there, glued them into position, and that will just give a little bit of uh, rigidity to the inside of it. And uh, that's it. I'll uh, keep you in the loop and uh, let you know when the rest of it is done. So we've moved over a print into the Ender 3. Um, as you can see we're just doing another piece now. Standard quality again. I've had to change from the Ender 5 Pro as it's just started to throw a few problems in and under extrude making the parts a bit weak. As printers often do I'm going to need to take it apart and have a little bit of a fiddle with it to uh, to get it to work into so anyone that's coming into the 3D printing hobby if you're not prepared to do a bit of tweaking and twiddling and get frustrated uh, don't bother getting into the hobby in the first place so uh, this is one of the last two parts to be printed there's one more after this this has been going now as you can see for 17 hours wow. it's still got five percent to do so again many many hours of printing into this project and uh, the next stage will be the sanding down and we'll come back to that shortly. I'm going to be using this to do the sanding. This is the Black & Decker Mouse. Um, B&Q stock them, I've seen them also on Amazon and they're around about the £20 mark. Great for little hobby 
sanding jobs. They come with six pads of different sizes, so uh, let's see it in action. Okay, let's have a go. going reasonably well getting most of it off uh, there's a few little bits I can't get the sander into so it's time for the trusty Dremel beautiful so now we've finished sanding it as you can see Now, get some of the excess off, and then we'll think about priming it. It's not looking too bad. Most of the uh, gaps have been filled, and whatever we've missed, the primer will pick up, and then we can re sand it and catch the end bits. So, there we go. So, what I'm using for this is some. Plain old Halfords filler primer. Let's give it a blast and uh, see what it looks like. So the first layer of primer is on. As you can see, it's covered a little bit better. There's some areas like here where you can see quite clearly you've missed the, the sanding aspect of it. And that's fine, that's one of the reasons we put the primer on, just to highlight those areas really so we can, we can see them easier. And then it's easy enough now to give it another layer of filler maybe, or uh, definitely some more sanding, and that will get rid of more of the imperfections. Then it's just a case of sanding, priming, sanding, priming until you're happy. This section there, I need to give that a really good sand, and uh, on, a, on a high grit, the higher the grit, the finer the sandpaper to give it a shiny look, because that's going to be painted gold. So. Uh, time to leave it to dry now for uh, 24 hours just to let the primer to harden and then we'll come back to it and um, give it another coat and the sand. So we just have a little look here you can see that I've bought some 12 volt LED lights from Amazon they're really cheap and you get shed loads of them in all sorts of different colours and little sleeves to, to connect them in. Um, I've also bought some on-off switches, as you can see there, and uh, these are the parts that are printed which will enable me to connect them into the helmet itself. So all I've done is a really basic wired uh, circuit there um, to connect them to a battery as the on-off switch, and what will happen is once I've put them into the helmet, little click, and on they will come. And that will add just the final effect to them really. Um, once the thing is painted and put together, what a great little effect at the end. And uh, I'll wire it into the helmet somehow, make it nice and tidy and out of the way. And uh, put the switch at the back just again, out of the way. And um, there we go. A nice little on and off switch for the finale of our Halo helmet. So it's had another coat of primer and uh, what I've done now is I've just gone over the areas that I want to be black with the black which is just Halford's matte black. Um, tried that colour green there, don't like it, didn't like it at all. So I've gone back to the one that I was going to use which is this one here which is kind of like a light olive drab colour and the um, front plate of the mask uh, is going to be that gold colour there quick flick of what it's going to look like when it's on there against that don't like it like it so it's a black stride we're going to mask it off paint it up with some green well that was a bit of a slog finally finished it it's probably taken two weeks to do do you want to have a look
I hope you liked it. Hope you uh, enjoyed the process and keep a look out for some more. I'm going to do a few more as, uh, as the weeks go by. If you could like and subscribe, it would really help me. And um, if there's any suggestions, anything you want me to do, let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good day. <laughs>